Hello everyone, this is Bamdele from Delare Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. Uh, we'll be looking at the Android Bully, uh, whereby we're going to consume a remote JSON API with the Bully library. Okay. All right, I have um, an online JSON, which uh, is actually calling from the URL Delare Studios slash images forward slash themes dot json okay this json actually has the images um and also the value the key is the images the key value pairs which we have uh an array of um different images with the url to the location where the image sits on the server we also have the title which are uh, for each image okay Okay, this is an array of images. All right, uh, we're going to consume that in an Android application and display it appropriately in a list view format, you know, which this application can still be further extended uh, with an on-click listener on the on each list for a probably a bigger image or or that can forward to another um, Java class. Okay, without much ado. Uh, let me go straight to my Android Studios, which is my development environment. Where I'm going to walk you through on how this particular application is being designed and developed as well. You know, where we're going to consume a remote JSON, which I showed earlier. APIs, you know, with the Volley library. First of all, we go to the build.gradle, where we're going to add the dependency, compile the Volley library uh, dependency. That is very important. This is using the version 22.0, which is the app compact. You know, uh, it's part of this. is one of the latest in the Android uh, activity. You, know, you don't extend activity unlike before. You extend the app compact. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to go to the layout files, which is the XML. Uh, let me get to the activity underscore images. This is a frame layout. With tools and the ID container, the layout width and the height match payment. The context is calling on the Java class mm -hmm. images activity. Okay, we're gonna get there. This is the uh, first uh, layout. Let's look at the fragment. We have a fragment for the images, which is going to like keep these images uh, on the list. It's a relative layout with the layout width and height matching parent. And this context is actually calling from the images activity. You know with a placeholder fragment uh, we have a list view that has the list uh one as the id and also the layers with a nice match experience we have the image list item xml okay this is a million layout and uh, i want you to take something very important here which is the com dot android of volley toothbox network image view this network image view is uh is the library right in holy you no know, it's in the volley api that actually helps in uh, calling uh, images smoothlessly without you writing a lot of granular codes. You know, this is going to help us a lot because of this application. So this network imagery is actually going to undo the image display with an ID of image one, and also a text view which is going to sit by the side, which is going to actually add, add as the title uh, from the JSON we look earlier. Okay. Uh, I'll go straight to my Java classes where the logic of the application sits. Okay, I'll first of all check on the images activity. In the images activity, we extend a lot of things: the menu item, view group, post, even the volley library which we added uh, earlier, and also the JSON, the array, and the exception, and also the object. Okay, uh, it extends action by activity because on the on create method, you know, it can it can actually be action bar up compact okay and it calls on the set content which is the layout i mentioned that earlier the activity images we're going to save instance here we get the support fragment manager method and we begin transaction we're going to add the container add the and also instantiate the images fragment with a new keyword and commit okay uh we're going to override the on create method we get we inflate the menus you now this is going to add items to the action bar if it is present you know. okay uh, we have the on options item selected this is going to add action bar item clicks here you no know. action bar will automatically undo 
you know some clicks which is going to like handle the up you know button and it's going to specify a parent activity you know in the android manifest which i'm going to we're going to get there very soon how does an if statement get in the id so that when you're going back to another uh, activity it's going to be handled very well you know we actually didn't do a lot here okay we have a place so that fragment containing a simple view you know this and this is the images fragment which extends the fragment uh we have a private uh field called image record adapter from the image records adapter java class uh we'll give it m adapter okay and the constructor images fragment an empty constructor for that matter okay we're going to override its on create view with the inflator the container and the saved instance state okay calling on the layout of the fragment images and also we're going to override on activity created which is also the save distance calling on the super on activity created now we're going to include our m adapter gotten from the is an object from the class images records adapter we instantiate it with, with a new keyword and we get its activity okay that's the activity of that images records okay with this we're going to populate this in the list view so we have to make it in the list view uh display okay this is just what is being done here right here and also we add it to the set adapter which is the mda adapter of the images records adapter java class which we will be talking after this okay i would like you to look at something very 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 cool the fetch uh, method which is actually fetching the json okay if you can notice this is the url to the json ex uh key and value pairs which we have over here okay and also we're going to do a try which is going to have a list of the generic image records i'm going to pass the json object the m adapter is going to swap image records so we're going to have a method called swap image records that passing a parameter called image records so there's going to be a catch here for any exception and the toast will be showed gracefully that they, there's no data that is unable to be really passed if there's any error or if there's any volley error which is going to uh show gracefully okay uh we have a list generic which is also passing the json object this time so there is if there's any exception if you actually declared it and there are in the method already so definitely you're not going to catch for this okay uh there's a for loop which is going to iterate iterate through the images if you notice this particular line uh is a json array whereby we have a json images object and we're calling on the array of the images uh let me go back to of these particular images okay okay so that we'll be able to access the key value pairs in that array so we for any array we're going to iterate i'm going to find the length of the array and we add one to it so that we, we're going to have an infinite loop okay with this we have the json image we get the json object with the i aha uh -huh. and also we get the string the title and we get the url of the image okay the image records you know we have a new image record which is going to pass in the url and the title of the parameters and we're going to add the records we turn the records we're going to go to catch for any exception here because we've already threw an exception of json exception if there will be any okay uh let me go straight to the image records that that we've been talking about okay this extends the area adapter with a generic uh object of image record and there's a private uh field called image loader you know which is going to load the image okay the image records adapter as a context i'm going to set the layout to the image list view exit list item xml now the image loader uh is being instantiated with a new keyword and the volley application okay we're going to have another java class called volley application okay which is going to get the instance it's going to get the request queue and also a bitmap cache so there's going to be a saved instance of that particular image you know okay so it's going to be like once it's been downloaded there's going to be a state saved instance of the image which is the volley application I'm going to do here okay we're going to get the view and also have the position the convert view and the parent uh, view group okay when we set the convert view to null so in the convert view we have the layout inflator from the get context and also we get the layout from the image list item 
our node, you would normally use the view order pattern here, you know. So this is a network image view uh, call to the network image. So this is like casting this network image to the convert view and getting the ID of the image one. And also for the text, because you, you cast it on to the convert view to get the ID. So the image records gets the item position, while the image view is going to set the image URL based on what the, the what is being get from the URL. So this is the get URL method. And also the, from the image loader, and the text is going to set its text appropriately from the image record and the get title. You know, we have the images and the titles. Okay. There's a swap records now, which is just going to, well, it is a for loop and it has for loop. Bye bye. Uh, the image records is going to be added, you know, once it's been swiped, you know, once, once the list is being populated. Okay. Let's have the image record. Uh, the image record just, uh, it has only, uh, two fields, the string URL and the string title. What about, uh, the constructor URL and title is being instantiated with the this keyword, you know, to set it. So now we're going to get the title, you know, get to this, how the URL and the title is begotten. No, we're not setting anything, we're getting it from the JSON file. Okay, uh, let me look at the Android manifest. Okay, the Android manifest is just any other, like any other Android manifest. But by the activity, you have the launcher activity. And this is just where you only have one activity here. At the view, uh, there's an uncleanness that's set to the button or to the list view. Uh, we can thereby have another activity to, to actually see something else. But I just want to focus on the volley, uh call on how to consume a, a volley json a json api it's the volley uh library so that's why the uh, tutorial is being focused on that uh i've grown down on all this and i would like to launch this in my journey motion emulator so that you can be able to have a full display of what i've been talking about mm -hmm. and i'm going to upload this source code into my github account so you pick it up from here and you can use it, practice it very well, and get a full grip of how JSON, how to consume seamlessly without the async tax, you know, the, the writing of the low level network uh, uh, programs, you know, the, the, the Voli uh, Java Android uh, API is just going to take care of all the, all the X. Okay, uh, let me launch this in the general motion. So that I'm going to have this populated. Okay. Focus. Okay, I pick my journey motion, which is live. Wait for it to be sub. Journey motion. We have the volley list, we have the title of the application. Uh, we have the, the list, Barcelona FC, with its corresponding image, which is the logo, Manchester City, logo, the Madrid FC, Bayern Munich FC, and Paris Saint Germain, with the corresponding logos. Okay, this is just what I was talking about. You know, can you see how the images have been loaded seamlessly without lot of delay you know just done on the as on the in the background you know that's fine uh i hope you get a full group of this tutorial this is very useful for you get to use volley and have a breeze in android development thank you very much my good listeners for listening and i have a wonderful time bye bye and happy easter bye bye don't forget to subscribe to my channel